there's some of them, guys. Water a little. <laughs> See right at the water line there. See a carving right there. There's like a rounded carving on that in front of us. Da vorne auf dem Felsen an der Ecke. Das ist so was gerundetes. Direkt im Wasser. Heller braun. In the corner. Just in the corner of the rock. Down. Right at the water line. Right at the water line, you can see the snake, the spirals of the snake. And we don't know. An der Ecke hier, da wo die zwei Flechten runtergehen. Yeah. Yeah, and da ist die. Gene has uh, found a giant puffball, one of the biggest puffballs we've ever seen down here in the uh, in the Amazon. We often find little baby ones, but you can see here that's a that's a good sized unit there. This is it a cordyceps? <laughs> huh? Oh my gosh, look at that, look at that, oh my god, bad news for the locust but good news for us, look you see his little leg there, cordyceps coming up, wow, what a spectacular specimen, doesn't get better. Come closer a little bit. See how big this ant, see how big this thing is. Is this incredible or what? Each one of these, each one of these chambers can be as much as uh, nine feet around and as much as 27 feet deep. Yeah, we found some really long, look at this guy. This, doesn't this feel like land of the giants? When you're like, when you're looking at this, you could put your whole leg inside this ant hole. And here we're going to look around the edge because there's a bunch of dead ants. See? We'll look here to see if we can find, we'll look here to see if we can find some cordyceps. Mushrooms which will grow on the dead ants. Look at that. Well, they, these uh, ants grow mushrooms, yeah? Yeah, these are the ants that grow mushrooms. Just taking a photograph. It's always interesting to see an Amoroderma, but look at this. Here's a lot of Amoroderma. Look at that. A little Amoroderma garden. 20 or so. Yeah, grab that one, Don. We'll see if we can cut it open. What kind of does he have? Do you have a knife over yet? Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. That knife is brutal. You can probably pop it open. Oh, oh yeah, yum. Stepped right into a bullet ant nest here. Woohoo! Very impressive units, and you can see that they also have that reddish brown stain when they're rubbed. You see how thin it is? Almost looks like Tremedes, and you do get. Uh, you're definitely getting a staining reaction. You can see this bottom up close, pretty unique structure on the base. I don't know, Felinus or Fuscaporia. And uh, you see the fresher material with the 
yellowish edges. On the sunny side, look, they've all turned brown. Interesting, huh? And look at this. It goes all the way up the tree. Papio. So what's Daniel got? Papio? Papio. 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 And here, it's a... That's an older one, opened. Yeah, a lot like, chunks. lot like a papa. Tastes a lot like a papa. A little more... Honeydew melon. Honeydew melon like, yeah. A little baby tree right there. Buddies. Poof, they're gone. Yeah. There's a cool looking a more derma with really shiny. Yeah, I mean that's, that's hard to tell if this is Ganoderma or Mauro. Much younger <laughs> specimen here. <laughs> Two species. And usually Ganoderma. Uh -huh. Nope, I'm caught. Right. You kind of see the no oh, wow, so, um, so there is mm -hmm. So you see him in all three states. See how big he is. Huh? Big beetle. Yes. You see the uh it's another polypus, like the Teniculus, but you see mm -hmm. it has that fibrous cap. It's got a nice spore print on that one, yeah. Mateus. Turn it over, would you please? And again, you see the... before the spores ripen, they're very white. You can see the little guys really like this one. It's a... Uh, one of the panis oyster mushroom group it has a definite rhizomes there that's a pretty big tree just the roots make a little room that's a monster Just one of the fins there of the tree. That you eat? Yes. Okay. No little poison dart frogs. He's hiding.
so much going on. Uh, I mean, rather we just left him alone. He does have a black and white head. See him? And he's fast. I don't want to be too close. No. I didn't move. Coral snake? Uh -huh. A poisonous coral snake. A very poisonous snake. Uh, yeah, what's that? To recognize, recognize this? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. yeah. Whether it's very poisonous or it pretends to be very poisonous, but it's... Either way, he wins. Either way. I'm not going to pick him up. It looks like there's two. The red one. Well, Could there be two? Maybe. No, only one. Oh, a snake. Yeah. Wow. Oh, be careful. Dude. Yeah, yeah, that's the... <laughs> mm. Oh, there it's moving. There's the head. The head doesn't look toxic. It's green. No, it doesn't have a viper head. Yeah. Could somebody put their finger there for size? <laughs> I guess it's about 40 centimeters max. Yeah. These big guy. Sensors. Eight inch sensors. Look at how big he is too. No, nope, he's there. He used to be here. There it is. Mm-hmm. Watch them. Pass it. That is a big scorpion. I'm not going to stick my finger there to wow. show you, but wow. that's as big as your it, thumb. It's a geisel spine. He's going to find the cave again. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a red one looking out. Yes. There's a red macaw looking out of the hole. Baby and mama.